met head on right there at the 20. Now a first down. Look out, reverse. Running to the left side. Well, when you get a defense that's not playing the keys to what they're supposed to do the proper way, then you counteract it. And one way to do it is run a reverse. That's why it picked up good yards that time. They're able to move the chains after that last run. On first down, it's back to the ground game. The Browns now move the chains. Running backs who can pick up extra yards, they are so valuable. You can't always block everybody to the ground. The running back's got to do it himself sometimes. Nice job there by the running back. First down here after the run. They'll stay on the ground on first down. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field. And my guess is he's going to be OK. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Second down. We'll go shotgun here. They're going to get him here for a sack. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see, when they don't have to blitz. And one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Browns team official. Mikel LaShore's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. G3 has it under center. First and 10. They set up the I formation. It goes to the tailback. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Lined up in the pistol formation. Second down and six. He lose, taking the handoff. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Green pass. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. Second down coming up. Griffin's going to take it from the gun. Looking to go deep. Lays out and makes the play. In this league now, you've got to keep these wide receivers and quarterbacks guessing. You just can't come out there and play man-to-man -man every play and think that's going to work. You've got to mix in some zones, some blitzes, and then occasionally go man-to-man -man coverage. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Griffin's back in shotgun formation. Brings it in. He's in for the score. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead, and it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The Redskins getting set for the extra point. Driving extra point is good. The Browns are back deep, ready to return.
And a touchback. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. First and 10. Eyeing that left side. Michael Floyd pulls it in. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. They've got a first down now after that catch. Play action. Looking to the right side and throwing. And that's a gain of maybe five. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Second down coming up. That's an interception. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. They face first down. Play action. Getting away from the pressure. He's got a wide open alley. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. That'll bring us to the end of the third quarter here, just next door to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, Ohio. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the fourth. Davis is usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. The final quarter begins with this snap. Mingo makes the stop. Good job by the running back on that long run. It's one thing to have talent. But the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's what he did that time, able to get down the field and get that long game. They're able to move the chains after that last run. RG3 from the gun. Looking across the middle. Makes the catch. Touchdown. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when your receiver got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. He had nowhere to go, and they deck him at the 16-yard line. Lloyd's lined up in the slot. First and ten. Screen play is on. He's tackled at the 28. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Staying with the passing game on first down. The throw to the left. What a grab. Man, that was some kind of catch that time by the receiver. Ooh, boy, these receivers, they make quarterbacks look good. You're right. You can throw it off target. It doesn't matter. They find a way to come up with the catch. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Set up screen. Fights through 
that hit. And he's brought down right at the 42. Well, I guess the only good thing you say about that play, the quarterback's happy, he gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. He's looking to the right here on this throw. How did he drop that? Look the football in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. They face third and eight after failing to connect on that last pass play. They hand it off to the running back. He's headed right. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Nickel formation here for the defense. Trying to overpower him. Here's the run out of the strong eye. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Here's the first snap after the big play. Play action fake. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Well, it's first and goal. I think a lot of defenses are thinking run here. And so the offense, they call a nice play. Very deceptive. They throw the football and they get the easy touchdown pass. The Redskins ready to return the kick. away from contact. <laughs> Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Got a little bit of daylight here. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. down here after the run leading on that running attack again here on first down holds them to seven the offense is so close right here they just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown Offense lines up here. Second and goal from the three. He lose. And he's in for the touchdown. Well, there's an old saying in the NFL, you know how many points you need? And the answer is more. So no matter what the lead is, keep trying to score. Nice job by the offense getting that extra touchdown. Josh Scobie ready for the kickoff. Escapes the hit. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Full the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. Browns ready to take it to the opponent. 